everyone, welcome back to City Girl Living on a Budget. My name is Julia, and in today's video, I'm going to share with you five things that I have done to save money in 2020. So the first thing I did, and this is a thing that has saved me the most money since moving back. Well, I just said moving back. Uh, the most money in 2020 is I moved back in with my parents. So I moved back mid-February, so I've been here for about six months, and this has really saved me a lot of money. I help with utilities and you know groceries and stuff like that, but I'm not paying rent. So I don't have to worry about any rent payment. I was paying $1,300 a month when I lived in Chicago. And now like, it's probably saved me, moving back here has probably saved me $10,000 at least so far this year. So that's number one. And that has saved me the most. The second thing I do is I use coupons when I have one for an item I'm buying. So whether I'm going grocery shopping or I don't know, any type of shopping, right? I don't really go clothing shopping anymore unless I'm sourcing for Poshmark or something. Um, but if I have if I have a shopping list, I look for coupons so that I can save a little bit of money on that trip. The third thing I do is I stop eating out unless I'm rewarding myself. I don't know what triggered this, but when I moved back in February, I moved back with this attitude of, I am going to save money and then in March, I committed to fire. My initial timeline was 10 years, but then in June, I shortened it to five years. So I don't, between all of that, like it just kind of, you know, I don't pay to eat out anymore. If my parents get takeout, that's one thing, but I myself rarely eat out. So, and I didn't even realize that until I sat down to write out my notes for this, for this video. I was like, oh yeah, I haven't really eaten out. Uh, the fourth thing I do is I repair shoes and clothing instead of buying new ones. So big thing back in March, I have two pairs of flats that I love. These are like my mainstay pairs. I wear them all the time. Not too much recently because they're kind of stuck inside. But, you know, when I, when I was working in the city or just working anywhere, those are the two pairs of flats I would rotate between the most. And from all the walking and all the wearing, the heels started to wear down. And normally, if this had been my previous self, that would have been my excuse to say, I need new shoes. And I would, you know, spend money on shoes. But this time I was like, what can I do that I don't have to spend money on shoes? So obviously there's shoes. I can't repair that myself. There is a cobbler uh, close to where I live. So I went, took them there and I got them repaired. And I can't remember how much it cost was back in March. But, I mean, the cost of repairing the shoes is a lot cheaper than, what it, would have cost, than what, it, what it would have cost me to replace them had I bought new pairs of shoes. And the fifth thing, I have stopped buying all non-essential stuff. I have just put a moratorium on shopping. Like, unless, you know, unless I'm going sourcing for Poshmark or I'm rewarding myself with, you know, food for eating out, I don't go shopping. And I help that I don't go to stores. I've stopped going to stores. I've stopped tempting myself. And it's been easier than I thought it would. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know. I thought it would be harder, but I've stopped putting myself in those situations. Like I stopped going to the mall. I do go to Goodwill or other thrift stores when I'm trying to source for Poshmark. But even when I'm there, I don't find it hard to just get stuff for Poshmark. I'm not, when I'm looking for things, I'm not really thinking I could keep this for myself. Have there been items in the past where I've done that? Yes. But so far, I haven't had that problem yet. I don't want to say I won't have it again. I probably will. But so far, I've been good about when I go shopping, even if I find something that I like and it fits me, I'm still putting it in with my Poshmark stuff. So I really hope that continues. I don't know if it will. This is one of the things only time will tell. But those are the five things I have done so far in 2020. We still have a few months left, so I don't know if I'll do something else this year that will help me save money. But those are the five things I've done so far in 2020 to save money. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!